Good afternoon, Mustangs. Welcome back to the first edition of the Miller North Blue View. My name is Ashley Heisler, and here with me is Angela Zhang. In today's episode, we will be looking at the growth in volleyball, look at ChatGPT, and learn more about the new lights at Buell Stadium. Women's volleyball has been shattering records and growing in popularity in Nebraska. Bluevie reporter Simon Damro and I went to find out how this is affecting Miller North's own volleyball team. The world record for attendance to a women's sports game has been shattered, and not by the sport you think. At 92,003 fans eagerly watching from the stands, the recent Nebraska women's volleyball game set the record, increasing interest in Miller North's own volleyball team. We went and we took the whole varsity team and uh, there were like multiple times that I just teared up and I know that sounds so dramatic, but I mean volleyball has been essentially my entire life. And so seeing that many people there to watch women's volleyball, I mean, I don't have any other way to describe it other than it was just incredible. The popularity of volleyball in Nebraska has been steadily growing. With an average of 8,000 fans watching per game since 2013, they are leading the sport by a landslide in attendance. Their loyal fan base is not exclusive to their team, and the Millard North volleyball team has seen immense growth in support as well. The crowd turnout this year has been a lot better than it has been in the past. Um, it was really cool seeing we had a little student section at our last game against Millard West and Millard West even had a student section. So that was really fun to see and it really just gets you ready to play. Traditionally, the most popular sports are football and basketball, but the times are changing. There are countless sports played in the state, so what gives volleyball that spark? They are so much better than the football team. I hate to keep throwing that jab like everybody is, but it's true um, and people are finally recognizing that um, girls volleyball, I mean women's volleyball in general, like it is filled with incredible athletes and volleyball is a sport where if you are not an athlete you'll get exposed real quick. So um, it's just a really impressive sport that I think people as spectators are just starting to respect more because we've been starting to get a little bit more publicity on it and um, people are just recognizing that and sticking with it, even people who have no idea what volleyball is. People like to see success and the Nebraska volleyball team brings a lot of it. They are impressively ranked second in the American Volleyball Coaches Association. Um, I think we have really good college role model teams and it's like really great to look up to them. And it's just like, I think the fact that it's an indoor sport also really helps the popularity because of our winters. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like the culture is really great no matter where you're at. The hard work and dedication of these women encourages young volleyball players to chase their dreams and create more aspirations for themselves. Growing up in Nebraska, it's like when you grow up you always want to be a Nebraska volleyball player just watching it on TV and obviously they're really good so that just helps grow the game and it just watching it really grows your love for the game. Growing up and seeing it, you want to be just like them. This has been Angela Zhang and Simon Damro with the Millard North Blue View. ChatGPT has brought controversy among students and teachers. Salmon Meals and I took a deeper look into ChatGPT. With the launch of ChatGPT in November of 2022, the landscape of education changed forever. ChatGPT, along with other educational AI tools, have caused controversy among students and teachers. I personally think ChatGPT and like AI and all that stuff can be like helpful in a way, but if you like only rely on that, I feel like eventually like people get caught and then other people get in trouble. It's just like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's that hard to write your own paragraph or like your own experience. You know, there's some great things about artificial intelligence or specifically chat GPT uh, for things that it could do, but certainly as an administrator there's concerns about plagiarism, cheating, uh, students not doing their own work. ChatGPT is one of the most popular tools with over 100 million users. These tools can be very helpful if used the right way. The research piece that I found um, with these graduate students on the college level that are having to like research literally like 10, 20 papers and analyze them was very impressive. And I do think that tool for locating uh, journal articles could be useful even at the high school level. You know, I think it's interesting. I, I think there's some opportunities to use ChatGBT for research or uh, exploration. 
One of the biggest concerns about ChatGPT and all assist tools in the Miller North community is plagiarizing. Plagiarizing is taking one's work and using it as your own. With ChatGPT, they have made it very easy to use their work as your own. I feel like the cons are that some people use it like directly and they won't like write for themselves. So then they're taking like word for word. I feel like you're not putting any of your own experience or words into it. Like you'll never actually know what you're talking about. Now, if you use uh, ChatGPT to say, hey, give me some ideas of how to start a paper about To Kill a Mockingbird, and it gives you some ideas, and then you take some of those ideas, and then you write and you have your own voice, yeah, to me, that's maybe a way of using it uh, for good. I think learning how to use tools appropriately, responsibly, and get excited about them is good, but there's just going to have to be some guidance. This has been Ashley Heisler and Salmon Muse with the Miller North Blue View. At the start of the school year, Millard's Buell Stadium press box renovation was completed. Along with a refreshed look, the stadium now has a new suite of lighting effects. Blueview reporters Paul Carlson and Gabe Miller shed some light on the new addition. Under the Friday Night Lights has a new meaning with the brand new Buell Stadium lights. Construction on the new press box and its lights were two years in the making. These lights have allowed Miller to put on a third quarter light show and distinguish between the three teams that play there. So they tore down the press box immediately after Millard South's game last year and they, it took a while to build. It's a beautiful, uh, it, it's, it's air conditioned, it's large, we've got the garage doors up and down, it's just perfect. Uh, so they finished up I believe this summer and we were in there doing a little training early August. With a new press box, the ability to put on a light show has been brought about. So we start with a 3D model of the stadium, and we actually mapped out every single LED light in, in that model. So every light that's on the, the stadium in uh, the real world was modeled first. So we took a lighting control system software, mapped it onto our 3D model so that we could play with it over here on the side, but see in the program what's happening in real time on the stadium as if we were there. So once we create these effects and these uh, dynamic shows, we're able to combine them using different software into a series of, of recordings, basically, of, of each of the LED elements. And we sync them together, we put them to music, and then through some computer software, then we're able to trigger it from the press box. It's saved and it's played from a computer that actually lives in the basement of Buell there. So uh, we render it, we, um, we model it, and then we record it. And so um, we, we take our show out there, we test it out, we see what works, what didn't, we bring it back to the office, tweak a few things, and then keep that process going until we get it exactly where we wanted it for the first show, which was revealed here a couple months ago. The reception of the show has been very positive. It's really fun, I, actually, I really enjoy it. Um, it's kind of cool that you can add lights to a football game and um, just make it way more fun. Tell you what, I, I love it. Uh, you know, I come from a smaller Class A school before I came here, and uh, I mean, those guys at North Platte, they're just getting a brand new scoreboard that has some graphics. Here at Millard, we just have a higher standard of how we do things sometimes. I just love it. Uh, you know, we do things that are great for the kids, and I believe it creates an insane environment, uh, especially in the future when we do more light shows and things in the coming years. With the Blue View, this has been Gabe Miller and Paul Carlson. Thanks for watching, Mustangs. Hope you have a great day.